All right. Hello friends, welcome to ARSK YouTube channel. My name is Aish Rati and this is another episode of Tricks and Cheat Codes. In this episode, again, I am going to take KCET previous year questions, Karnataka CET previous year questions. In the last episode, I took the questions from the trigonometry chapter. In this episode, I am going to take the questions from the straight lines chapter. I am doing this chapter wise. You can also comment uh, below and suggest me some chapters so that I can make tricks on the chapters which are being suggested by you students, right? KCET exams are very near and I'll try to upload more videos for KCET tricks. Uh, thank you so much for all the support you all have given in the previous episode i don't make content in english i make content in hindi but only for the karnataka ct students i am making this in english because most of the students who are preparing for kcet are uh, from south india and they don't know hindi uh, in a proper manner they are comfortable in english that's why even i am trying to make content in english which is not my comfortable uh, language uh, for teaching uh, so thank you so much for appreciating this and for liking the video so much and for so much views and sharing and everything similarly i am expecting that you all will support this video as well watch this video till the end this is a very nice video for all the kct aspirants i have taken previous questions from the straight lines chapter and you'll see wonderful tricks uh, which you'll not see anywhere else so make sure to subscribe to this channel now come on let, let's together like this video and let's get started with this video Okay, so here I have taken a lot of questions from the KCET previous year uh, question bank, right? As you can see here, I have taken questions from the 2006, 2007, 2007 questions and here I have taken questions from 2008, 2009 and 2010, right? Uh, KCET previous year questions, I am taking chapter wise. So in the previous episode of this KCET tricks and cheat code series for 2021, you have seen questions of the chapter trigonometry. Here you will be seeing questions from the chapter straight lines, right? Maybe these years are... Uh, a little older you may think that it is okay 10 years old questions but the questions which come today is similar to these questions also right so in the previous uh, episode i have taken recent questions of trigonometry in this episode i am taking a little older questions i'll also take recent questions in the upcoming episodes these questions come in the examination many number of times as you can see this was a question in 2017 uh, 2007 foot of the perpendicular similar question came in 2009 foot of the perpendicular. So I'll let you know the tricks uh, on how to apply tricks in these questions and you can apply these tricks in your upcoming examination as well, right? Uh, okay, so here I am taking six questions of straight lines and you will see the alternative methods to solve these questions. You can also solve these questions using the actual method, uh, the uh, orthodox method of solutions, but in these tricks and cheat codes episodes, I am helping you. Uh, if suppose you are not able to solve a question, then what do you will do? You will leave the question. So instead of leaving the question, I am teaching you alternate methods. Uh, in Hindi, we call these Jugadu methods. Uh, using these Jugadu methods, you will be able to get the answer of these questions and you will be able to increase your score and you will be able to improve your rank. So the first question says concurrent. You, you have to find the value of B for which these three lines are concurrent. So the actual solution is using the determinant method. You will be solving the determinant, but that will take a little more time. <coughs> I am teaching you the shortest method, a trick method. What you can do is you can solve these two equations and then you can put the value here and find the value of B, right? So what you can do is you can write this as 2x plus 6y minus 18 equals to 0. You can write this as 2x minus y minus 4 equals to 0. We multiplied this by 2 and we got this now if i subtract i'll get 7y uh, minus 14 equals to 0 and i'll get y equals to 2 if i get y equals to 2 i can put y equal to 2 in this equation and i'll get 2x uh, equal to 6 and x equal to 3 so my value is 3 comma 2 now i'll put this value here because if these three lines are concurrent then 3 comma 2 will also satisfy this equation so i'll put 3 comma 2 here so i'll get 4 3 is a 12 plus 2y minus 2 equals to 0. So 2y is equal to, I'll get minus 10, right? So y is equal to minus 5. So our answer is minus 5. So this is an alternative trick and cheat code which you can apply and solve the answer very quickly, right? Otherwise, you can also solve using the determinant method also. <clears throat> Coming to the next question, we have to find the ortho center of the triangle with vertices 0, 0, 0, 3 by 2 and minus 5, comma 0. Okay. What you can do is, you can solve this using the actual method. You can find the slopes and perpendiculars, all those things. You can do that. But uh, there is a trick method called the diagram approach. In diagram approach, what, what we do is we draw the diagram and using the diagram, we can easily plot our answer. What we do is 0, 0. What is 0, 0? 0, 0 is this point. So we are drawing it. 0, 3 by 2. 0, 3 by 2 is this point. 
सो वी आर ड्रॉइंग इट माइनस फाइव कॉमा जीरो माइनस फाइव कॉमा जीरो इज दिस पॉइंट सो वी आर ड्रॉइंग इट अ रफ डायग्राम वी हैव ड्रॉन एंड वी आर जस्ट कंप्लीटिंग आर ट्राइंगल राइट नाउ एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द डायग्राम इट सेल्फ डैट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ परपेंडिकुलर टू ऑल दी वर्ट इज राइट सो दिस इज द परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस वर्ट इज एंड दिस इज द परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस वर्ट इज राइट एंड वन मोर परपेंडिकुलर विल कम टू दिस वर्ट इज सो अल्टीमेटली द ऑर्थो सेंटर इज जीरो कॉमा जीरो राइट इट वुड है लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर यू टू सॉल्व यूजिंग द एक्चुअल मेथड बट यूजिंग द डायग्राम वी कैन इजिली सी सी दिस इज अ ट्राइंगल राइट सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ अ परपेंडिकुलर to this vertex from the opposite side so this will be the perpendicular itself if i want to draw a perpendicular to this vertex from the opposite side so this will be the perpendicular itself and if i have to draw the uh, perpendicular on this vertex through the opposite side so this will be the perpendicular right so all these points coinciding on the 0 comma 0 itself okay so this is also a property that in right angle triangle the ortho center is in the vertex containing the right angle this is also a property but many students don't know the property if you don't know the property you can easily get this through the diagram approach right uh, in this special case the ortho center lies in this vertex itself otherwise in all other cases where there is no right angle triangle you have to draw perpendiculars and then check where is the ortho center in this particular right angle case the ortho center lies in one of the vertex and the vertex is itself a right angled vertex are you getting it so instead of solving it traditionally we are making the diagram and easily we are saying that the two perpendiculars are getting intersected in the 0 comma 0 point and the third perpendicular will also have to go through that vertex itself because we have to uh, draw perpendiculars to each of the vertices right <clears throat> so now coming to the third question the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from this point on this line again you can solve this using the actual method no problem in that but what you can do is you can easily plot the diagram and easily see the answer it is very easy to eliminate the options as well how see first we have to draw this equation 2x plus y minus 7 equal to 0 so what i can do is if i if i take x equals to 0 i am getting y is equal to 7 so 0 comma 7 is one point are you getting it are you getting this thing 0 comma 7 is <coughs> one point so what you can do is you can actually solve this properly you can actually solve this uh, properly by making lines see how i am doing it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like this you can plot this right so if i put x equals to 0 y is equals to 7 to so 0 comma 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is one point 0 comma 7 acha if i put x equals to 1 So if I put x equals to one, I get y equal to five, right? So one comma five is another point. So this is my straight line. This is the rough equation of my straight line. Now what we have to do? We have to plot three comma four. So three comma four will come. Three comma four will come uh, somewhere here. Three comma one two three four. It will come somewhere here, and this will be the perpendicular which we have to draw. So our required point is this one, this foot of the perpendicular on this line from three comma four. So this is three comma four. This is the line, and this is the perpendicular. So this is the rough location of our point. Now, can you understand? Can you see that what is nine by five comma seventeen by five? It is uh, nearly equal to two comma three. Nearly equal to two comma three. Right? Nine by five is something less than two, and seventeen by five is something more than three. Okay, one by five. One by five is here. So clearly, you can see that one by five is not this point, right? This is this point, two comma uh, something, three point something. So you can eliminate this because one is very, very much on the lefter side than the actual point. Again, minus five comma zero, minus five will come here, minus five comma one will come here. So this is also not the answer. 1 comma minus 5 1 comma minus 5 will be downwards 1 comma minus 5 so this is also not the correct answer so our only correct answer is 2 comma 3 roughly because as you can see this point is roughly 2 comma 3 can you see that 2 comma 3 point something can you see this this is roughly 2 comma something 3 point something and this is also 3 point something 17 by 5 is 3 point something so approximately what we did is we just draw the diagram and just approximately we check the answer this is called our diagram approach and option elimination we eliminated three options and marked one correct option so instead of solving by the real method you can also these methods to improve your score in the examination hall it is it is uh, right you can easily solve these uh, questions like this instead of leaving the questions you can use these methods and improve your score okay it is very easy to apply this 
Now coming to the fourth question, there is a variable line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 such that a plus b equal to 4. So what we do is here we use our assumption method. What? Assumption method. You have seen our diagram approach. You have seen the option elimination. There is something called as assumption method. All these methods are being taught by only me. Uh, this is a unique playlist which you will not get anywhere else on YouTube nor in any book right so all these tricks are made by me itself I make these tricks in Hindi just for the KCT aspirants I am making this in English okay so and you will see tricks for all examinations J main KCT Maharashtra CT WBJ every examination neat you will see the tricks in my channel different playlists are made you can see the links in the description so the trick here is take a and b equal to 2 because a plus b equal to 4 it is given so if a plus b equal to 4 we can take a and b both 2 or we can take 1 3 3 1 anything like that but for our comfort we are taking both as 2 if I take both as 2 my equation will become x by 2 plus y by 2 equal to 1 isn't it so now if my equation becomes x by 2 plus y by 2 equal to 1 let me plot this if I plot this this will be like this 2 comma 0 here and 0 comma 2 here isn't it if I put y equal to 0 x equal to 2 if I put x equal to 0 y equal to 2 so this will be the, my intercepts now easily you can understand the midpoint is 1 comma 1 understand that the midpoint is 1 comma 1 now if the midpoint is 1 comma 1 our answer will be 1 plus 1 equal to 2 got it see uh, we have to find the locus locus can be many points right it can be many points but uh, suppose in locus there are infinite points then this 1 comma 1 is also a point right see the combination of 2 can be made by 0 0.5 and 1.5 also it can be made by 1.99 plus 0 0.01 also right but in all those combinations one particular combination is 1 comma 1 also right so in these locus type of questions we find that one value and we put in the options to cross check I am not saying that this will be the only combination but this will be one of those infinite combinations are you getting it so what we did is we took the value of a and b as 2 2 and we solved the question and we eliminated all the other options because all these options does not satisfy our given condition this is a general question so this has to satisfy every condition which is satisfying a plus b equal to 4 we did nothing wrong we just took a smart value and just solved it quickly understood Okay, coming to the fifth question, the foot of the perpendicular from the point 2 comma 4 upon x plus y equal to 4. So first, we have to draw it. See, you can also solve this with the actual method. I'm not saying you not to do that. But using my tricks, you can solve this faster, very much faster. See, first draw this line. First, if we draw this, if I take y equal to 0, x equal to 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. If I take x equals to 0, y equal to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So join these two points. I am joining these two points right now 2 comma 4 1 2 1 2 3 4 this is coming here 2 comma 4 and draw the perpendicular the perpendicular is coming here so clearly you can see this is 1 comma 3 something isn't it see what I did is I plotted 4 and 4 4 here 4 here and draw the line then I took 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 comes here then I made the perpendicular right so easily i can understand that this is 1 comma 3 so easily my answer is 1 comma 3 all other options will be eliminated see how 3 comma minus 1 3 comma minus 1 it is coming downward so eliminate this 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 is coming here so not close to our point so eliminate this 4 comma 0 is here eliminate this clearly we can understand from the diagram itself that the foot of the perpendicular is 1 comma 3 right from the diagram itself we can understand and all these three options are very much far than our 1 comma 3 so we are eliminating all the options okay coming to the last question sixth question here we will do the assumption method first so we are given three points minus 1 comma 0 so first our target is to plot them so if I try to plot them minus 1 comma 0 will come here 0 comma 0 will come here and 3 comma 3 root 3 will come somewhere here right so if I join these three if I join these three this is my P this is my Q and this is my R I have been told to find the equation of the bisector of the angle PQR. So PQR bisector will, will be something like this, something like this. Can you understand? It will have a negative slope. Obviously, it will have a negative slope, right? Like this because PQR we need to bisect. So we have to find the options which has negative slope, right? So 
This has a positive slope. If we compare with y equal to mx plus c, m has to be positive or negative, right? So in this case, y equal to root 3x, m is positive, but we, we want negative slope. So we can eliminate this option. Are you getting it? Similarly, here also root 3 y equal to x, y equal to 1 by root 3 x, the slope is 1 by root 3 positive. So we can also eliminate this. We only need negative slopes because the diagram itself says that the slope will be negative for the bisector. Here I can see that y equals to minus root 3 x. This is a negative slope. And here I can see y equal to minus 1 by root 3 x. This is also a negative slope. So the answer will be anything between these two. Now you can do a guess. You can either guess between these two or you can do something more. What you can do is you can see the angle 3 comma this 3 root 3 by 3. So what is 3 root 3 by 3? tan theta equal to 3 root 3 by 3. So this is root 3. That means theta equal to 60 degrees. So that means this point is 3 root 3 and this base is 3. So this angle is 60 degrees. If this angle is 60 degrees, then this angle will be 120 degree because total linear pair is 180. If this is 60 degree, this is 120. If this is 120, then the bisector will be 60 on this side and 60 on this side. So if 60 is the angle from the x axis, from the, from the x axis, 60 is the acute angle, then the slope will be root 3 and negative because it is the negative slope. So the answer will be minus root 3. This will be the correct answer. Got it? You can either choose between the two, do a blind guess because you have already eliminated two options. So now the probability of your guess will has been increased by a large amount, right? So for a small risk, you will be getting a big score. Okay, I'm not suggesting to do a blind guess. I'm suggesting to at least eliminate some options and then do a guess. This increases your probability to get correct. Also, you can apply this method. You can see that 3 root 3 by 3 is 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees. So this will be 120. 120 half is 60. So this is 60 degree. And 60 degree is root 3 with a minus sign because the slope is negative. So this will be minus root 3 x. So by using all these methods, you can definitely improve your score. Uh, KCET tricks and cheat codes playlist you will find the link in the description I'll make more upcoming uh, more videos on this and for all upcoming videos you can subscribe to the channel and you can also comment the name of the chapter for which you want the tricks right so I'll try to make them as soon as possible thank you so much Okay, so I hope you all watched this video nicely and understood all these tricks these kind of tricks will be helpful for you in the upcoming KCET examinations. They will help you to improve your score. They will help you to improve your rank. Overall rank will be improved by using these tricks. You have to apply these tricks after you are done with all the questions you are able to solve on your own. Uh, after that, uh, the time you are left with, you will apply these tricks to improve your score and to boost up your rank. All right. So I am giving the link in the description of the playlist of the KCET videos. I'll add all the KCET videos on that playlist. This video and the previous KCT video are already updated and the upcoming videos will also get updated in that playlist. So if you are only preparing for KCT examination, you just need to follow that particular playlist. And if you are preparing for other examinations as well, then you can follow the original playlist where all the different examination, all the different tricks are present, right? So you can check all the links in the description, go through them and then refer to the playlist which suits you, for you the best for your upcoming exam preparations. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Catch you soon.